Understanding Crohn's Disease Crohn's disease, IBD, is a type inflammatory bowel disease. According to the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation, 780,000 Americans suffer from the condition. It is important to do more research on Crohn's disease. Researchers don't know how Crohn's disease begins, who is most at risk, and how best to manage it. Despite significant treatment advancements over the past three decades, there is no cure. Crohn's disease is most common in the colon and small intestine. It can affect any part your gastrointestinal tract, GI, tract from the mouth to uanus. It can affect certain parts of your GI tract, while other parts may be affected. Crohn's disease can be mild or severe. The symptoms can vary and may change over time. The disease can cause life-threatening complications and flares in severe cases. This is everything you need about Crohn's disease. Crohn's symptoms. Crohn's disease symptoms often appear gradually. Some symptoms can also get worse over time. It is possible for symptoms to suddenly appear, but it is rare. Crohn's disease symptoms can start as early as diarrhea, abdominal cramps, there is blood in your stool, fievre, fatigue, appetite loss, weight loss, feeling like your bowels don't feel empty after a bowel movements, feeling a constant need to bowel movement. Sometimes, these symptoms can be mistaken for food poisoning, stomach upset, or allergies. If any of these symptoms persist, you should consult your doctor. As the disease progresses, symptoms can become more severe. Some symptoms that can be more severe include a perianal fistula is a condition that causes pain and drainage around your anus. There are many types of ulcers, from the mouth to your anus. Inflammation of the skin and joints. Anemia can cause shortness of breath and decreased exercise ability. Early diagnosis and treatment can save you from serious complications and help you get started with your treatment sooner. What is Crohn's disease? Crohn's disease isn't well understood. The following factors could influence your chances of getting Crohn's disease. Your immune system. Your genes. Your environment. According to the CCFA, up to 20% of Crohn's patients also have a sibling, parent, or child with Crohn's. A 2012 study found that certain factors may affect how severe your symptoms are. These factors include whether you smoke, your age, it is not clear if the rectum has been involved, the time that you have had the disease. Crohn's patients are more susceptible to intestinal infections caused by bacteria, viruses, and fungi. This can increase the severity of symptoms and cause complications. Crohn's disease and the treatments it requires can also impact your immune system. This can make these types of infections even worse. Crohn's disease is common and can cause yeast infections. These infections can affect the lungs as well as the intestinal tract. To avoid further complications, it is important to have these infections diagnosed and treated with antifungal medication. An autoimmune condition is when your immune system mistakenly attacks your body. This can sometimes cause inflammation. Although Crohn's disease could be caused by inflammation, the cause of the condition is still unknown. Crohn's disease your doctor will not be able to diagnose Crohn's disease with just one test. They will first look for other causes. To diagnose you, your doctor might use multiple tests. Your doctor can use blood tests to identify potential problems such as anemia or inflammation. A stool test can help your doctor detect blood in your GI tract. To get a better view of the inside of your upper digestive tract, your doctor may order an endoscopy. A colonoscopy may be requested by your doctor to check the large bowel. Imaging tests such as CT scans or MRI scans provide more detail than an X-ray. Both allow your doctor to see specific parts of your tissues or organs. A biopsy, tissue sample, will be taken by your doctor during an endoscopy. This allows for a more detailed examination of your intestinal tract. After your doctor has reviewed all of your tests and excluded other causes for your symptoms, you may be diagnosed with Crohn's disease. These tests may be repeated by your doctor to check for disease progression and to identify affected tissue. Crohn's disease treatment. 
Although there is no cure for Crohn's disease, it can be managed. There are many treatment options that can reduce the severity and frequency of your symptoms. Medicines There are many medications that can be used to treat Crohn's disease. Commonly, anti-diarrheal or anti-inflammatory drugs can be used. Biologics are a more advanced option that uses the body's immune systems to treat the disease. Your symptoms, your history of disease, severity of your condition and your response to treatment will all influence the medications or combination of medications you choose. Anti-inflammatory drugs Oral 5 aminosalicylates or corticosteroids are the main anti-inflammatory drugs used by doctors to treat Crohn's disease. Crohn's disease treatment often begins with anti-inflammatory drugs. These drugs are usually prescribed for mild symptoms and infrequent flare-ups. Corticosteroids can be used to treat more severe symptoms, but they should only be used for a brief time. Immunomodulators Crohn's disease symptoms can be caused by an overactive immune system. Immunomodulators are drugs that reduce inflammation and can limit the immune system's response. Antibiotics Doctors believe that antibiotics can help to reduce Crohn's symptoms and triggers. Antibiotics can be used to reduce the amount of drainage and eel fistulas. These are abnormal connections between tissues that Crohn's disease can lead. Biologic therapies Your doctor may recommend one of the many biologic therapies for severe Crohn's disease. This will help to reduce inflammation and other complications. Biologic drugs may block certain proteins that can trigger inflammation. Surgery Surgery may be required if you are unable to improve your symptoms with less invasive methods and lifestyle changes. According to the CCFA, approximately 75% of Crohn's patients will need surgery at some time in their lives. Crohn's surgery can include the removal of damaged sections of your digestive tract and the reconnection of healthy portions. Others are used to repair or manage scar tissue and treat deep infections. Diet Although Crohn's disease is not caused by food, it can cause flares. Your doctor will recommend that you make an appointment with a registered dietetician, RD, after your Crohn's diagnosis. A registered dietitian, RD, will help you understand how foods can affect your symptoms and what your diet might do to help. They may ask you to keep track of your food intake in the beginning. You will need to keep a food diary detailing what you ate and how you felt about it. The RD will assist you in creating an eating plan by using this information. These dietary changes will help you absorb more nutrients and minimize any side effects that food can have on your health. Natural Remedies for Crohn's Disease People may use complementary and alternate medicine CAM, to manage the symptoms of many conditions, including Crohn's. These are not approved by the Food and Drug Administration for treatment. However, some people use them alongside their regular medications. Without consulting your doctor, don't add new treatments to an existing treatment plan. Some CAM treatments for Crohn's disease include Probiotics These live bacteria can be used to rebuild and replace the good bacteria in your gut. Probiotics can also prevent microorganisms causing Crohn's disease by preventing them from disrupting your gut's natural balance. The scientific evidence regarding the effectiveness of probiotics is not conclusive. Prebiotics These potentially beneficial substances are found in plants such as leeks, artichokes and bananas. They feed your gut good bacteria and increase their number. Fish oil Omega-3s are abundant in fish oil. A 2017 study found that fish oil may be able to treat Crohn's disease. Omega-3s are abundant in oily fish such as salmon and mackerel. Online fish oil supplements are available. Supplements Many believe that certain vitamins and minerals, as well as herbs, can help ease symptoms of many diseases, including Crohn's disease. The benefits of supplements are still being researched. Aloe vera Aloe vera is believed to have anti-inflammatory properties. People may consider aloe vera as an anti-inflammatory because inflammation is a key component of Crohn's disease. Aloe vera is not known to help Crohn's. Acupuncture This involves strategically placing needles into the skin to stimulate different points of the body. In a 2014 study, acupuncture combined with moxibustion, a traditional Chinese medicine that involves burning medicinal herbs near the skin, improved Crohn's disease symptoms. 
Further research is required.